Well, people keep hitting stuff on the property, so now I'm fixing the mailbox. Yes, for Shane, this is Sergeant We're at the Sandy County Sheriff's Office. The reason why I'm calling you is the vehicle today driving on 61st this morning served to uh, miss a deer and ended up uh, driving over your mailbox. If you get a nut stuck in a socket like that, usually what I do is I thread the bolt back into it and kind of see it's stuck there. There she pops out. I really shouldn't get so upset about this kind of stuff. I mean, it just happens. It's just really frustrating that, you know, this is twice now in the past year that we've had to deal with something like this. You know, first it's a fence getting completely destroyed, you know, and then the other morning on the way to work, I got a call from the sheriff's department and, you know, some guy swerved to miss a deer and ended up wiping out the mailbox. And honestly, based on the destruction of uh, all the car parts all over the road. I think he'd have been safe for hitting the deer. Oh, we got her back up and running. Let's get back to farm stuff. One of the items high on the priority list is uh, taking down part of a tree that I'm, I usually hate taking down trees, but this one is just not in a good spot. Um, it ended up splitting in a storm that we had uh, last year and i really don't want it to fall on the planter box garden in the new greenhouse once that gets built so i think the best policy is let's get rid of this tree right now and and uh, go from there well we are out having all sorts of fun today so this is gonna be good deuce what's she doing up there Hey guys, ready to go home? Today's a really exciting day. We got our um, meat birds from Murray McMurray's. So I'm just getting it set up right now. Um, how we start is we have this heat pad, which is really nice. I like it a lot better than heat lamps. It's safer because if something jumps up and bumps them, it doesn't matter. It's not gonna break and cause a fire. I start by doing it is I pour in some um, bedding, obviously, so they don't slip and hurt themselves. It's a little bit more than I needed, but that's okay. And then we put their feet in because they come through the mail, so they're starving. And then also their water and then we'll put them in. So what we ended up getting here was some big red broilers, which are these little ones. We got a bunch of hens and one rooster. So we decided to do Americanas, which are in the Easter Egger family. So they'll make some colorful eggs. Beautiful, so they're egg layers. We get them all set in here. Oh, this one's beautiful. Keep them nice and warm. Bucky, what the heck are you doing? I've been over here working on the coop, uh, digging the trench around it in order to get the fencing put in. And I really didn't intend on much filming much of this, but I gotta show you guys something incredible. Look at the size of that worm. That's insane. There, there's a number two pencil. Wow, look at that sucker. Vivian, come here. Vivian, get out of the back of the truck. There, I think she's looking pretty good. So I think what the plan's gonna be is I'm gonna take down this temporary fence since this is all getting changed around for next year and I'm gonna start to clean up some of these planter boxes and start working on some uh, some compost out in the main garden and put the put that back out there and spread it around and we'll we'll make a good so soil for next year also i like i've mentioned i we're gonna get some more planter boxes in here so they're kind of going to get shuffled around and moved anyway so it'll be good to get them out of here
Well, now you can see that I've moved the planter box into its new location. So, we're going to be able to get twice as many planter boxes in here. This is going to be cool. And to keep things easy, I'm going to transfer the dirt out of these two planter boxes right here into those two planter boxes over there. That way, I cut down on the amount of work I have to do. I'm working smarter, not harder. One of the things that I did in preparation for these planter boxes this year was I uh, added in a microbial solution to get the boxes started. And what I'm finding digging through here is an amazing amount of fungi. It's crazy how well this, this worked and how well it's growing uh, down inside the planter box area as I'm getting into maybe about a foot down or so. Really worked awesome and I'm planning to do that next year for these boxes as well. It's amazing. This is going to work so much better next year. I wish we would have done it this year, to be honest. But yeah, we can fit way more in here now. This will be awesome. How's it going there, sugar britches? <laughs> sugar britches. Good. Good? A lot of manual what are, labor. What are we doing? I am transferring the dirt from this one in to the newly set planter boxes because I want to get onions and garlic planted because you plant those in the fall and they're ready to go when spring hits because they're long growing season. Never done them before, so we'll see how this goes. I'm gonna plant some garlic and some onion back in these two planter boxes. So basically they come in a giant clove and then you break them apart a day or two before planting them. And you just plant them about two inches in the ground with the roots in and the pointy tip up. That's the root and a couple inches apart. Now I've never done this before, so this will be kind of exciting to see if everything I read about them is true and if I can get them to grow. And Vivian over there, of course, is the little escape artist who is just trying to find her way in here. She's always around, doing something, eating something, finding something, getting into something. Then when I get done putting these in the ground, you put a um, couple inches of mulch on top to keep them insulated and then hopefully they'll start sprouting a little bit of a stem before winter comes and over here i'm going to do some onions so these ones that's the root that's the tip just kind of put them in just like garlic i'm going to do a little variety in here Hopefully this works out because we eat a ton of onions. I have um, sweet yellow onions, red onions, and then the white ones for like salsa. So the whole point of expanding and getting this new greenhouse put in and these new planter boxes was to try stuff that we haven't done, see what works and what doesn't. Um, so that's kind of the fun of gardening is trying something new and Hopefully it works out, but if it doesn't, hopefully you learn something from it. So you know how to change it next year, maybe do a little bit more research to figure out what went wrong or how to improve it. And you know, a lot of times it does work out okay. It sucks when it doesn't, but that's kind of part of gardening. Well, for whatever reason, the last couple of uh days we've been having trouble getting the ducks back in the coop or I should say some of the ducks the new ducks back in the coop and you know we got a lot of new chickens right now so I'm gonna work on a little bit of bell training with them basically what I have is a bowl of food uh, that I'm gonna be giving them just some cracked corn and uh, I'm gonna ring this bell on the barn the whole time that I'm giving it to them and that'll kind of train them that anytime they hear this bell they know to come running for food <laughs> 